Yay, I'm vlogging in the car again. Yay. So, I haven't been vlogging in the car in a long, long time because I don't know my own strength and I broke my other car mount, or my old car mount. It's a kind where, you know, I had like a gooseneck on it and you had to bend it in the position you wanted and then there was a, like a nut on the back of the part that the that the phone goes on to, and the, or the camera, or whatever. And I was tightening it down one day and I was tightening and tightening and tightening and then I just sheared it right in two pieces. It just came apart right in my hand. It's kind of like, oops. And I haven't, I didn't buy a new car mount because I was waiting on Tilt's, uh, Tilt's one of the companies that send me product for review. Um, they sent me a lot of product already and some of which I haven't put up video reviews yet on because I've been timing it right for some giveaways that are going on. And uh, they sent me the Capio. And if you're not sure the Capio is, go look it up. I'll put a link to it down in the description if I can remember. Basically, it's a snapless like car mount thing. It's all sticky, sticky stuff. And that's what she said. Anyway, um, so you just stick it on there. And it's cool because it's got an NFC chip in there. It doesn't really do any good for my iPhone, but my Galaxy S3 has NFC. So when you, when you stick it onto it, um, because there's an NFC chip in there, um, you can have your phone automatically launch certain things like driving mode, Bluetooth on and connect, you know, even have a playlist load if you want. <coughs> really cool stuff. What I like about it is the fact that it's completely 100% like, you know, it's, it's, uh, you don't have to snap the phone into it. It's just, it just sticks right to it. You just literally stick it to it and that's it. And when it gets dusty or dirty, you just put it under water, um, the mount, not the phone. And you run your finger over it and it's sticky again. So, God, this just sounds like a horrible conversation. Let's just change the subject. So there really hasn't been all that much going on lately, other than the fact that I'm fighting this huge infection that's back here on the inside of my cheek. Don't know how I got it, uh, but it's really, really, really bad. I went to the doctor yesterday and it's very infected. So they gave me uh, antibiotics. Uh, really strong antibiotics, ones that actually make me feel sick. You take them once every 12 hours. The antibiotics I've always taken have been every, once every four hours. Uh, but this time I have to take it once every 12 hours and it makes me feel nauseous and bleh, gross and stuff. So, yeah, I just realized in this view you can see what's going on behind me. It's really kind of neat. You can see if someone's tailgating me or some shit. But, you know, thing, I've just been trucking along, doing my thing. Uh, since I got back from Vegas, my hours changed at work, so that's what's kind of changed a lot of things, where I'm only working an hour later, but it's amazing what a difference that hour can make, and, you know, I, I mean, she was just all gangster leaning when she drove, she was like, anyway, <sighs> yeah, so, I mean, I've been kind of trying to go to bed a little bit earlier, trying to get out of my insomnia stage, and a lot of you guys know that I do, was doing the vlogs late at night, so I'm just adjusting, and I do appreciate those of you that have stuck around already, and stuck around through me not doing anything, Ooh, but no, oh, sorry, and um, it's like the human version of, oh, squirrel, squirrel, ooh, piece of candy. Uh, but yeah, great things happening on the tech channel as always. It's just been nothing but up and up and up and up and up growth. And uh, it's definitely making me excited. Especially when companies are wanting me to do reviews and stuff for them. I actually turned down... Uh, I actually turned down a review <coughs> earlier. Uh, a few weeks back because they were way too... I wouldn't say they were pressuring me to make a, a, a good review, which is kind of funny because one of my subscribers sent me a video uh, that I had already seen from uh, a reviewer who, you know, was talking about a product that was supposed to be good and all the other reviewers have said it's good, but he found it to really not be good. A very common um, computer part that people you know, generally think, oh yeah, this is the best, and he's like, this is the best, things that are half as much are the best. But this company was very influential on how they wanted the review to go, the way they wanted me to review it, and they were practically scripting it for me, and it was like, no, I don't do that. I mean, already as it is, when you take product for free, people think that you have a jaded perception of 
its performance or its you know function because you didn't have to pay for it. Where let's say this this NFC mount, I don't know how much it is because it's not out yet. This was literally like one of the very first production runs of it. It's, it's not even it's not out, and so um, not the one with the NFC anyway. I think the regular one is, but not the NFC one. And uh, you know I. I give my honest opinions. I've taken some stuff that people have given me in the past and, and said things that I didn't like about it. And so, uh, I, I will never be that guy who will say whatever a company wants him to say for the fact of getting free product. Because that's not what my channel's about. That's not why I started my channel. That's not the goal of my channel. Uh, even Product reviews wasn't even a major part of my channel. When I was about 500 subscribers, Munitio uh, met them at an event, and you know they were excited about me being a new guy. So they're like, "Hey, you know, here's here's something for you to review. Check it out." There was no, "Hey, we we want this or we want that." It was just literally, "Hey, here you go. Uh, do you review and give us a link to it when you're done?" So that's what I did, and I only had 500 subscribers at that time. 500 subs, and I think uh, maybe 5,000 views, if that. And so, maybe it was 10,000 views, but whatever. That's the way I've operated my channel ever since. And now I've got companies like Munitio and Tilt and uh, practically sponsorship by AquaTuning and AlphaCool. And the, I mean, it's just going in great places, but I'm always gonna maintain that, that grounded, realistic approach to the way that uh, I handle my reviews of my channel. I mean, I'm not gonna, I think that's why Linus does a lot less reviews and does mostly just overviews because then he's not caught up in the politics as much. I mean, he does have sponsorship and it's I think he's done it right by the videos that you know people want him to make and the way they want him to make them. He makes for them and they put up on their channel. He doesn't put it up on his. So, I mean, there is there is a there's a fine line between sellout and you know, uh, um, being a, a forced review, and you know, it's one of those things I'm not going to take lightly as I grow, um, because I don't. Last thing I want is all my hard work to get ruined by endorsing or saying a product is great that turns out to be crap, and then you know, for the pure fact that companies would want to jump on, you know, the bandwagon of, of my visibility and growth as it grows. I mean, I'm already at nearly 1.2 million views. And it, that's what's getting a lot of people's attention. Like, okay, this, there is exposure here. <clears throat> so that's where I'm at with the tech channel. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop now. It really hurts to move my jaw. It's not on my gum or my tooth. It's the, my cheek. That you know, the the quadrant that um, I guess your jaw tendon connects to. Like when you open your mouth and you can see those those lines behind your your molars, the pieces of you know tissue and, and um, job um, tendons and stuff it's on there it really 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 is bugging me so I'm gonna get on out of here guys just wanted to check out and do the very first test of my tilt capio here to see if it stays connected on a freeway and it's bumpy and stuff and sure as heck is so I will see you guys later this weekend sometime and until then see you later thanks for watching